So, I'm <clears throat> like, uh, like an idiot, for some reason I started recording my uh, first unboxing here. I got this package from, from Ben. And I recorded it, and there was no sound. Absolutely no sound. And it was very sad because I thought what I did here was just, just fantastic. So I'm going to try to attempt to redo this. It, this is going to be really, I mean, look at it. I'm talking and right now, you know, like my voice is, I'm not, you're not going to hear, I'm not going to recreate all the sounds of the box opening because that's, that's too much work. But I do want to show this because, you know, Ben sent me this box and I'm going to talk about what's inside of it. And, you know, I'm just going to have to recreate kind of what I, what I was trying to say. I don't even remember anymore, so this is probably going to be w really weird. But okay, here we go. And I also did it in an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, and it's not the best impression, but here we go. Oh, okay, you, I can't believe this. Right? Look at this right here. He he gave me this uh, this paper, this plastic bag. It, it keeps things, you know, protected inside of the box. And then I stretch it so you can see that it is from this place called Kruger. Uh, it's a place in Virginia because that is where he is from. So if you are from the Virginia area, you're probably okay. Then, then I remember I said that, oh, yeah, I'm done because that's all he sent me because I was trying to be funny. But then I'm like, oh no, I realized there's more inside. <laughs> okay, and they're still doing it. All right, so I tried to put this, okay, and I line it up. I put my knife down. And then I'm like, okay, we'll throw that over there and then throw this crap. And then I'm like, okay, what should I grab first? Okay, we grab this one. It's a metal head. And he's a baby metalhead, and I show him to you now. I move him like this, and I'm like, he's so cute. He's not a normal metalhead because he's a baby one, and you can tell because he's small. He's a little different. I when we're done with him, okay. Then I'm like, okay. Now we do the dogs. Look at him. He's so cute. He's like a little baby Michelangelo because he's so. It says dogs. See, I'm pointing dogs, and I was like, what is this dogs with this? Because I'm like. Why? Why do they call it this? And it's like, because he's cute. He's adorable. And I'm like, you cannot tell me what I think is adorable. I decide, because if I do not think it is adorable, I do not want to, to, you to tell me. And so I just talk a little more, and then I throw the box. Okay, so we're done with that crap. And then I just kind of look inside, and I'm like, this one! I saw this little tiny thing, and there's little baby air holes in it, so I'm assuming something inside is a baby because I want to see inside, I open it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a Donatello, and you can squish him, see, look at this, you squish him and make the baby gap tooth bigger, because it's like you are stressed out, and you're like, I want to see a gap become bigger, so I push it down, I push it like that, so you then push it, and then there's, there's a gap, and it gets bigger as I push it, and then I put it back inside so he can breathe, because there's tiny air holes, and then I move some stuff around again, and then there's the, this April O'Neil. This was something I was so excited about. This was originally what I wanted him to send me, because I was like, look at how sexy she is, you know? I'm pointing at her tummy, and I was like, this is great. I want her because she's a sexy April O'Neil, not like the new one in the Nickelodeon show, because the new one is like a teenager, so she cannot be revealing so much, like the tummy, because she's a teenager. And so I keep talking about this more and more because I'm just so excited about this April with the tummy. As you can tell, I'm so excited. I throw her over there because I'm done. I don't want to talk about her anymore, you understand? So then I find this inside. Look at him. It's the Raphael from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. He was a mystery pack one, but he's a baby too. Everything is a baby these days. And he's got the size, but it's one side that's like a, it's a thing where it's sharp, but it's like molded all cool when we're done with him. And then I talk, oh, I noticed this one, a super smart splinter, but he's a baby smart splinter because he has a big head and he's cool because he kind of is like old, old splinter with this, I don't really understand what he is, to be honest, because he's just kind of like he's got a smart brain. He's like a Krang splinter because he's got a big brain, but he still has his bone arrows and he wants to shoot. 
things, but he drops everything because he's a baby, so you try to put it back on, but he really cannot hold on because he's too smart, thinking about everything at once, he can't do anything, because he's so smart, because of his, because he's a brain splinter, and he's so cool, I don't remember it, what the heck I was talking about, so I just have to hold him and look, and we're done, finally, my god, we're done with him, I don't want to hear about Look at this though, huh? This was exciting when I saw that he was a flipping Leonardo. You put him down, you make him smell in between his legs, and you flip him. But he can't actually flip because he's probably got the brain of a baby. So he can't like land on his feet because he's a training baby Leonardo. Because he's like from the original comic book style. With the, but he's still got blue bandana so he can't flip because he's a baby. And we just keep, he fell off, he's no good. You know, so we go to the next one. We go to the Raphael one. And you can see he looks just like the comic book style. Because he's got like scratches across his thing. But he's got an R. So he's not really truly the comic book one because they did not have it. They did not have the initials on their belt. But he can flip and fall. He probably landed on his feet, we'll never know because the camera's not down there. As you notice, you can see April is like dead with her rear end showing to you. And now we have the Donatello one. I remember when I was doing this, I was like, hey, wait a minute, what is going on here? You cannot flip him. I think it was broken. He sent me a broken piece of crap. So I was like, this is terrible, you know, but he sent me a lot of really good stuff actually. Look at this, this is fantastic. And he sent me a knife. So that I could, uh, like, open the box or something like that, you know, but actually it, the, that, that wouldn't make any sense because the, the knife couldn't be inside for me to open, I would have had to open it before. So look at this, it's fantastic. I love it. I just am so grateful that he was able to send me this and this sexy April Nila. Yeah, it's so great. Okay, that's all.